Hi there, this is Wei. Let's learn some Burmese. Today we're going to talk about Buddhism. Before we start our lesson, I want to tell you the difference between Myanmar and Burma. The country's name is Myanmar. In in Myanmar, they live different ethnic groups like Burmese, Kachin, Shan, Mon, etc. Now you are learning the language of Burmese, which is the standard and official language of Myanmar. As I said earlier, there are many ethnic groups in Myanmar, and religion is a matter of our choice. Uh, of course, if we are not forced by our parents, Myanmar allows every religion in the country. The majority of people believe in Buddhism, and many historical sites like Bagan, with its thousands of pagoda, is proven that it is a Buddhist country. I am a Burmese and I believe in Buddhism, which is called Bodha Bada. Here, Bodha is Lord and Bada is Lord Bodha's teaching. The Buddhism in this country is Theravada Buddhism. Uh, this is a broad topic to talk about, and we're not gonna focus on what Theravada Buddhism is. We are gonna be talking about how Buddhists do their religious deed and how they celebrate their religious festivals. Every morning Buddhists here worship Buddha. So if you see a Buddhist, you can ask him if he or she worship this morning. Um, we say this in Burmese, Dine Peya Shako Gela. Dine is today, Peya is Buddha, Shako is pay homage to or pay respect to. We also believe that we will be lucky for the rest of the day if we worship before we leave our houses. So this question also means that you will have many important things to be done. So if you worship Lord Buddha, you'll be lucky for the day. Buddhists are unlikely to start about their religion if you don't ask them. So, well, let's go back to the sentence. Dine peya shako ge la. Ke is past indicator and la is a question what in this sentence. If you ask the question like we described above, they will, they are likely to reply in shako ge de, peya ban le le ge de. Let's listen to it one more time, please. Um, in shako ge de, peya ban le le ge de. In this sentence, e is yes, shako is worship, ke is past tense indicator that we hardly use, te is sentence particle that show action, uh, te is used as in go, twa de, ask, me de, come, la de, etc. Peya ban is the combination of peya and ban. Peya is boulder, ban is flower. So peya ban is flower to offer boulder. In this sentence, you will see two words with the same pronunciation but different spelling. They are le and le. The first one le means also. The second le is change. We change decayed flower in the vase and put new ones in the vase. Um, we put the vase in the, I'm sorry, on the altar. Altar is what we call payase. K is the person indicator here. T is sentence particle that shows action. Then you will ask the kind of flower offered by. If you want to ask, you ask what kind of flowers um, do you offer or so things like that. Uh, we say it ba ban ka ke the le in Burmese. This is symbol. Ba is what? Ban is flower. Uh, so ba ban is what kind of flower? What you need to focus on here is ke, which is one of the usage of offering things to Buddha. We normally use ke, lu, buzo, de. There are four kinds of expressions to say offer. They are ke, lu, buzo, and de. Some of them are strictly religious, so make sure you don't use them in your everyday conversation or things like that. K is the first indicator. Le is a question what's here. So ba ban ka ke the le means what kind of flower did you offer? 
There are many different flowers readily available in the market, which are roses, nazi ban, jasmine, sabay ban, star flower, kayi ban, chrysanthemum, kanama ban. Then he'll likely to reply nazi ban or sabay ban or kayi ban or kanama ban. So this is an example of conversation on asking about a religious deed. In the next chapter, we'll talk about religious festivals. Uh, okay, let's do a recap here. Uh, the new words we learn here are Boda, Paya, um, flower to offer Boda, Paya Ben, Altar, Paya Zin, Rose, Nenzi Ben, Jasmine, Sebe Ben, Chrysanthemum, Ganama Ben. The verb we learn on this topic are Shako and change. Shako is worship, change is lay. And we learn different ways of saying offer. We say ke, we say lu, we say buzo, and we say dan. Uh, let me use these words in sentences. Paya ben ke de, paya ben lu de, paya ben buzo de, paya ben den de. In this lesson, I also introduce you two different types of question words. They are la and le. La is used for a yes no question, and le is used for an open question. So I hope you remember what I what I talked about today. I hope you enjoy the lesson. Bye bye. Take care.